I was shuffling your cards earlier and this um, really unpleasant card came out so um, this will be the crowning energy for you for this month and I will actually go over and explain the cards later it's the seven of swords and let me pull out eight other cards for you all right so I have the five of swords the chariot five of swords in the reverse knight of pentacles the three of cups the five of cups the Emperor reverse, the Six of Pentacles reverse, and the High Priestess reverse. Okay, I'm going to pull out one more right here. Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, so already a lot of swords energy. and um, So this is what I call the Sneaky Man card. This is a perpetrator card. Someone is doing something wrong behind everybody's back. And... Um, they're getting away with it. They're getting away with it just because um, in this environment, I feel that this could be, you know, in your relationship, in your household, in your um, professional life. Everybody is so busy giving, giving, giving. And this guy, he is such a taker. He's such an opportunist that um, no one is calling him out on it, okay? And, um, there might be some suspicions. The High Priestess is, um, and I feel like this is definitely coming out the end of the month, but, um, just for the overall energy of this month, the, the people that he's dealing with, and honestly, I don't think this is you. I, I don't think this is you, but this is definitely an air sign in your mist. It's an air sign, a... a a uh, younger person, um, you know, not exceeding their their, their late thirties. So this is an a, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is definitely an air sign with like a fiery energy too. But um, let me go back to this guy. So what I'm seeing here is, um, everyone is there giving away their all and like helping one another. So I, I feel like. You have a really nice people around you in general. So this guy, he's taking advantage of this um, situation of abundance. And he's sneaking in and he's looking out for number one. And he's lying, he's cheating, and he's just getting away with it. Because no one is aware because you guys are just too nice. People around you are just too nice. So no one is really aware of it. But um, I do see a very airy energy coming in. So I strongly believe he is the air sign. Okay, um, and no one's going to know until the end of this month. He's not going to be exposed. No one is even aware of what he's doing until the end of this month. And I feel though, um, coming out first in a reading, this is something that has been happening prior, in the prior months, in the prior weeks. So even starting in January, this is something that is an ongoing issue. And he will actually, I hope he gets caught. Um, it's Mercury in retrograde, so this month, okay? But it's not to worry. Like I said, you're not in poverty, so you don't really have to worry about this. This is just something that you're hoping for is not coming through because there is blockages coming from the higher-ups, all right? Um, I just feel, though, um, with this... Uh, let's see. Okay, so, so let me put this another way, too, Pisces. Um... It's just something that um, I'm drawn to. So with the Emperor, there might be, with him in reverse, there might be an absentee boss as well. He might be on vacation or something. I know, I, I see that very strongly with this chariot card. So your boss might not be in the picture for most of this month because, you know, they're taking a trip, which lends opportunities for this guy to, you know, do his thing because he feels that, you know, this is the opportunity perfect opportunity the boss is not there I can get away with this when in fact um, things will still be revealed okay so that, that's one thing that I really want to point out if you're in a situation where your boss is really not there and um, no one is really in charge at the moment then be extra vigilant and you know just to I, I feel like this person is going to be caught anyways but just you know be very vigilant so that's one possibility in which that can play out. And um, with this, um, the rest of this energy here, you do have this situation in which, you know, and 
you're hope you're you're hoping for that swift victory, but um, it's actually not playing out the way you want. But it's it's minor. I feel like it's only delayed. It's not finalized yet. So if your your finances are not um, panning out the way you want, just know that it's slow in coming. It's just delayed. It's not finalized. Okay, because the boss is not there or some situations like that. And um, with the Knight of Pentacles too. If some of you are offered a situation where you have to relocate for your job, please do it. It's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and also financial abundance. So I see that coming in strongly as well. So um, if you feel like you need to get away, I think it would actually be the perfect opportunity to. Um, the beginning of February. So just take it, even with the Mercury in retrograde, because I feel like it's going to pan out really well but um even in this situation I feel that you know it's something that you've been um thinking about all in through January like the beginning of the year so it's not going to fall within the mercury retrograde period I feel that strongly for most of you who are planning to relocate to a new environment for a job I feel that this is like an old energy it has been in the works for quite some time just because you're not satisfied with the company or your current location. So I feel that um, you've been thinking about this since the beginning of the new year, 2015, in January. So you might have signed a contract prior to Mercury in retrograde. Therefore, this new energy is going to be fine. Mercury in retrograde won't affect it just because contracts are signed before Mercury is in its retrograde period, okay? Um, so... Um, this card, too, this is a card of celebration, the Three of Cups. However, um, looking at the overall energy, I would say be really careful about gossip. Okay, and um, in a spread like this, you know, the, the next one that is uh, near it, it is, is the Five of, of Cups, which is a situation in which um, you're very sad about something that happened, and um, you're going back and analyzing the situation but you're analyzing it using your heart rather than your head so be really careful about that and you know um, if this there that element is in play where somebody is um, you know talking badly behind your back and it's somebody that you trust somebody that you have that emotional connection and an emotional rapport with and some it's somebody that you trust and you thought could do no wrong to you it's going to come to the surface and I feel it's going to happen before the February 11th so you're pining over it they've been exposed um, but you have such a good you know rapport with them that you are kind of like in a state of denial about the situation and you're trying to rationalize in your head oh this can't possibly be true because you know that person is has been my friend in the past Therefore, you're not, you know, moving forward with this, with this emperor in reverse. So you have all the information that you need to make an accurate assessment of them. But you're using your, your heart rather than your head, okay? And I feel that strongly, too, with this energy. So use your head. Use your head. People are, um, regardless of the history you have with them, regardless of how they treat you, if they... If their rumors circulating, originating from them, or if they're not nice to other people, then just know they're not a nice person in general, okay? Just because they're nice to you, but they're crappy to other people, that does not make them a good person, if anything. That makes them a hypocrite, so you don't need that type of people in your life. But I feel strongly, this is, you know, strongly in the work environment as well. So um, be careful of the air signs in your life, okay? So... Uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libras, and um, if you're in a work situation where, okay, so um, if you're in a work situation where your boss is out of the picture temporarily for a vacation, be extremely careful because I feel that's how it's going to play out. The boss is out of the picture, so this guy comes in and, you know, causes all kinds of havoc. But um, towards the end of the week, everyone will know. Um, the high priestess in the reverse position is actually... Um, a pretty good thing and it's indicative of um, people overcoming their um, taking off your rose-colored glasses and looking at a situation very objectively 
I feel that、um, objectivity is going to be very difficult for a lot of people around you and for yourself in particular, because that ability to look at things objectively is just not there. And I feel like for a Pisces, who really values emotional attachment and emotional situations, it is really hard for you to.、Um, it's really hard for you to not. Be able to sympathize with someone. So even if someone is a a liar, a cheat, a, a thief, you still can rationalize in your head. Okay, maybe this person has a family they need to feed, or maybe this person has to do this because of so and so. That is not the right time to do it this month. Okay, because you are cloud. Your your judgment is so clouded. First of all, there's a Mercury in retrograde, and then you're clouded because of the history you have with this perpetrator. So. It's really difficult for you to move forward and to look at a situation objectively, and I feel that objectivity is very essential this month in order for you to in order for you to leave that person behind, and in order for that person to get their just punishment. I feel that with you and the people around you, the people that are involved in this situation. You are still defending the perpetrator, and you're not. He he's getting away scotch free at that point if you're letting that happen. So please be very very objective. If someone has done something wrong and they're caught, just know it happens for a reason. And、um, you know,、um, people do bad things. They get caught. Let that be a learning experience for them, so that they can evolve into a better person. I, I'm hoping so. So in the process, if you're trying to lie or if you're trying to cover up for them, it prevents them from advancing forward and learning their life lesson. Okay, so don't think of it as you know you're 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 being sympathetic, but rather think of it as you're hindering their progress in terms of self evolution and emotional maturity. Okay, so let that play out however it may. Just be very objective as to why you're protecting them. If you are protecting them because you know you don't want them to get in trouble,、um, I would say there is a gray area for you to do that. But at the same time,、um, it's because you would feel bad if they got in trouble. I, I think that's the bottom line. So don't let your sympathy, don't let your your own feelings override. You know. Their、um, ability to basically evolve. Okay, so if they're caught, I hope it's a chance for them to learn from their mistakes and to become a better person. So don't hinder that、um, journey of self-awareness for them. I hope that makes sense. That's a very convoluted way of explaining this spread, but I just feel that as Pisces, you are very magnanimous. You are very loving and caring, and you do have boundary issues. If this is.、Um, For most of you, not all of you, if you're in this situation, you have to draw clear boundaries, and you have to know where you end, and the other person emerge, and you have to really understand that taking pity on someone is kind of、um, is kind of、uh, an insult because they don't really need your pity. Okay, so if they really need to learn this lesson, let them get caught and let them learn it the hard way, because. Trying to pity them, trying to protect them, doesn't get them anywhere. They don't need your protection. They don't need your pity. So save that for you know other situations that might be a little more appropriate that calls for more sympathy. But in this situation, if it's a perpetrator, they do it because they know they won't get、uh, get caught. They think they can get away with it. So if they are caught, it's just karma. So I want you to really embrace that. Okay, know where you end and the other person begins. And don't cross boundaries, okay? Don't impose your feelings of pity or whatever on the other person. This is their life; it's something they need to learn. Okay, so I hope that explains it fully. I am hoping you you understand this because、um, Mercury in retrograde is a a time for people to to get caught, for things to come to light, and for you to just、um, embrace the changes. Okay, so overall. This energy, though, is going to permeate this person, and I do see like a very strong emotional rapport too. So、um, I don't see like an overly romantic ambiance in this spread, but I feel that this person could 
potentially be a love partner too. Um, and I, I see that, you know, like a very emotionally fulfilled type of relationship that is emerging this month in February between you and this earth sign person. So, you know, take some time off to spend with them because this is a person that's worthy of your time. Not this guy or, you know, this these energies, all right? So have a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, I wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I think you will have a splendid Valentine's Day. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And additionally, let me know how this plays out in your life. I always like to read um, viewers' comments, all right?